And take a look at this video. A Spartanburg Animal Hospital broken into in the middle of the night. And police say these two are the ones who did it. They have on in gloves. They hid their faces. And one vet from Pine Street Animal Hospital tells us from this security footage, he believes the suspects could have been former employees because they knew exactly where they were going because they were going after some cash. Police are still on the lookout, hoping they can track down the suspects before they have a chance to strike again. Fox Carolina's Kayla Conboy is live in Spartanburg tonight. So Kayla, how much do these guys get away with? Well, that's the shocking thing. It wasn't much at all. The vet that I spoke with earlier tells me it was less than $100, a couple cans of food, and a pack of dog treats. That's what they made out with. But now they're the ones that are fitting, fitting the bill for the repairs and the upped security system they now have. Go look at those teeth. Good boy. Glenn Adcock has and always will have a heart for animals. You know it's so good. And you survived. Day in and day out, he does checkups and surgeries. Pretty routine, so he and his staff were shocked to find cash suddenly missing one morning. Our petty cash uh, wasn't in the usual spot where we keep it. The bag was there, but the cash was gone. And my morning receptionist assumed that my evening receptionist had uh, just placed it in a different location or had maybe um, locked it in one of the safes. But when he showed up to work a little bit later, he immediately noticed the back camera had been unplugged and there was more. They tried to get in in this door here from the from the outside, obviously on the deck, but the deadbolt kept them from getting in. But you can see where they damage the wood. So he pulled up the footage and realized the two suspects also seemed to know where all of the cameras were, which led him to believe they knew too much to be strangers. They were very familiar with the location of our petty cash and, and we never keep any more anything more than 75, 80, 90 dollars in the building at any one time and it's just enough to make change for the people that you know that come in and pay cash for their services or for their product. Um, um, but they, on the security footage that you guys have, and you'll be able to see they came in, went straight to the location where that bag is usually placed at the end of the night. After that, he says it seemed they were looking for the day's deposits, but soon gave up. Took a couple of cans of food and a bag of um, dog treats and then left and they were in and out of here in four and a half minutes. Their first thought was the animals, but after checking to make sure they were unharmed, they called police, hoping it sends a message. Typically with these guys, they start out kind of small and then once they get a little bit of courage after a first, you know, couple of successful break-ins, they start amping things up a little bit and and I'm hoping that you know really deep down that if we can get these guys caught that the punishment that they get will serve as kind of a warning sign and this store right here is actually the only one that they didn't try to break into and the vet that I spoke with says in the 15 years they've been here they've never had this is this issue so it was certainly a wake-up call and they've started being very very aware of what's happening they added deadbolts and are increasing security and really just asking police to catch these guys fast reporting live in Spartanburg Kayla Convoy Fox Carolina the 10 o'clock news